This is a small video I'm doing just to show you the progress that we I've made on the network uh, user interface um, for the OLED display that's on the Falcon 16 version 2 or Falcon 16 or F16 V2. Um, you can see that that's the menu on the on the right there, and I have the user interface for the actual device on the left. So if we go ahead and just click the select button, there's five buttons on the display down below. I can't show you those because I couldn't get far enough away and still show you a good picture of the display, but there are five buttons. We have an up, down, left, and right button, and a select button. So I'm gonna click the select button on network, and right there we have uh, the network menu. And the network menu has five options that you could change the um, static, uh, whether it's static or dynamic, um, the IP address, the subnet mask, the gateway, and the, DN and the first DNS. If you want to change the second DNS, you ac actually need to go through the web page to do that. Um, but typically, usually you only need to put in the first one. So um, right now we're on the static type. If we hit select again, it brings us to the um, type menu and you could use the up and down arrows and the little up, um, asterisks tell you which one's selected now. Um, if you don't want to make a choice you could just hit the left or the right buttons and that will bring you back to the static uh, menu. But we'll go ahead and go in there. So if you hit the select again it selects DHCP. When DHCP's DHCP is selected, you can't use the up and down arrows to go to the IP mask or the gateway. It's locked out uh, because those will come defaultly from your uh, your uh, DHCP server. So in order to change those settings, you need to go to make it static. So we go ahead and change it back to static. Then we can go down and you just click the select again. And now you're at the edit IP address screen. And now you use the left and right buttons to move the cursor. The cursor is a little underscore, and you can move it left or right. When you get to the spot that you want to to change, you just use the up and the down arrows to actually change the numbers. Okay, so we'll just change it to something like 135. Let's say hit select. And notice the menu, the network menu, now has a little prompt at the top that says use the left and the right arrows to save. Um, so that will be what we'll do when we want to go and save. Um, change the gateway. You can just hit the left once to go over to the right. And we change the gateway to one, hit enter. And then we can change the DNS. And we'll change that to three, enter. And now if we, now if we hit the left or the right buttons, we get this menu that pops up that says, do you want to save and reboot or you want to discard the settings? So I'll hit save and reboot. It tells you that it's rebooting the controller. And um, if we go back to uh, network, we can see that it took. And we see that it is 135. So in our browser over here, if we typed in 135, we would expect to see the controller there. And sure enough, it's there. If we go to the configuration settings, it's, um, it's there. Um, if we want to change it to uh, dynamic, you just click dynamic, DHCP. Um, and then hit the left or right to save, save and remove. It's rebooting the controller. It reboots pretty quick. And then it takes a minute for it to get its DHCP settings. And I could see that it's got them already. So we'll go in the network and we see that it went back to 109 and all the other settings changed appropriately. So if we go back over to here to 109, we should expect to see the change. And sure enough, it did. Uh, we'll do one more setting. The subnet mask we see is set to, so we'll change it back to static. We'll go down to mask. And this one, I did this screen kind of with the up and down arrows just to change the, uh, I think it's, what is it, 24 typical, you know, all the way down to a class A. So I think you go down to a class A address scheme. That would be your class A, I think. And what we typically use is a class C which is the first three octets are 255. You notice a little arrow, the, the up and the down arrow, that just tells you that there's more uh, um, selections up and down. So when you get to the top, the top arrow should go away, like now. And when you get to the bottom, the bottom arrow goes away because you're at the bottom. And we'll just select the class A. 
and then we hit the left or right and we hit save and reboot and it goes ahead and it's rebooting and it's up and then I'll look to see for network connectivity and I see network connectivity on the connector so if I refresh this page we see that we have it changes to static and we have the uh, um, the class A address in there so that's kind of what I'm thinking for the network I'm open for suggestions let me know what you think